Hello and welcome to another episode of DCS World with Zara Peppers. Sorry I sort of disappeared for a while there. My computer exploded while I was having problems. One morning I woke up only to find my computer had restarted after an update overnight. And I had the Windows 10 blue screen of death recovery screen thing. So it took me a while to fix that. And then I had to reinstall everything. So here we are. I'm back. And today we're taking out... We're taking a break from our usual Russian aircraft and get and some American metal stuff. Anyways, us the Americans are starting a new offensive going into Russian held territory and our goal is to take out as many armored targets as possible to make the job easier for the limited a number of American troops we have in the area. So let's get this A-10A started up. See A-10A because I'm not quite brave enough to take on the A-10C yet. That is going to be quite the learning curve. One that I bet I could tackle, but I'd rather try out some easier aircraft first of Right now I'm learning the MiG-21, which I have almost gotten down pretty much. Um, I also got the Vigan, which is one of the AJS Vigan, uh, which is one I was really looking forward to. But I haven't started to learn that one yet. But I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to warm this thing up and get in the air. Okay, we're all warmed up. The offensive begins at 4.30, so we've got about... 25 minutes or so to do as much damage as possible. There's two parts to this offensive. The one on the eastern side of the front line and one on the western side. We're starting out with the one on the east side. Got a wingman today. It's just an AI. I am planning to... Shush. I am planning to do some videos in the near future with a fellow YouTuber, Check6. We've been talking about doing some cooperative missions. Alrighty. I'm going to put my flaps in landing position for takeoff. Uh, that's a uh, friendly F-15. That's probably just taking off. And let's go. Actually, I'm going to break song, throttle to 50%. And throttle the rest of the way and breaks off. Now we've got a number of different weapons on board today. We have six Mavericks, some bombs, and of course the good old Avenger Gatling gun. Now I think the takeoff or the rotate speed that I want is 140 because I'm working in nautical miles something I'm not used to or knots and rotate and we're up nice landing gear Put our flaps. Well, let's just bring them all the way up. So first, I'm gonna do sort of a scouting pass. I really need to figure out what all the different beeps mean in this thing. The one that just went off, I'm sure, is a new RWR contact, but there's a number of others that I'm not sure about. I was gonna do a sighting pass pass within a safe distance of the front lines. Take a look at what I want to be targeting first, and then we'll go in for a few attack runs. Let's level out. So I'm going to go up to an altitude of about, say, 4,000 feet. Now when it comes to measure. Er, altitude measurements I am more used to it in feet although I am pretty much used to it in meters now as well 
and adjust my trim. Okay, I think there's some woods up ahead right there. Those are where our troops are preparing their attack and just to the north of those woods there are a number of towns and that is where the enemy forces are. The one right in the middle of our screen right now is where... <coughs> Ahem. ...is our first objective of this offensive. And I can already see some targets on the ground. You probably can't because YouTube resolution isn't really that great. I think, okay, I'm going to level out at 5,000 feet. I'm going to get a bit closer to the lines and then we'll take a left, go along the south of those woods, take a look around. Right, let's level out and then throttle back. Now I can see on the RWR we have some an SA8 site. Oh yeah, we do have some F-15s keeping. And in fact, that's probably one of the F-15s being shot on by. That must be an infrared SAM site. Too close to the SA8. Okay, there's the town. On the left side, I see four, three or four, T, probably T-72s in the middle. I believe are some infantry fighting vehicles, and to the right of that, some more tanks, along with some bunkers that have some kind of vehicle on either side of them. gone a bit higher than I wanted to, but for the Mavericks, I don't think that's going to be a problem. See one of our F-15s with burners on. Alright, so let's go into interground mode. Select our Mavericks. Now let's turn around and try and hit some of those tanks. Whoa, what was that? Keep thinking he's saying bomber, but he's saying armor. Alright, let's turn this thing around and get some missiles on target. One thing nice about the um, the A tank compared to the SC twenty five is it has a much better turn rate, I I believe. However, it is slow, but everybody knows that about the A-10. Yes, beep, 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 beep. All right, I'm going to go for the tanks on the left first. Not to get too close to that, what I assume is a Strela. Rifle. 
Actually, you know, uh, we'll start off with one Maverick off on that run. I could probably get two off before I need to turn next time. But let's just take a look and see exactly where that lands. Perfect, that's what I was hoping I would be going after. So let's turn this thing around. I'm gonna decrease my altitude a bit, back to 7,000. And on this tech pass, I'm gonna try and get two Mavericks off. So my primary concern is getting as many of those tanks out as possible to help out with, because we have limited numbers of armored units that are going to be able to take part on this offensive so if as many tanks are up now as or when they as if as many armored tanks are up now when the attack starts then they're not going to stand a chance so we need to take out as many as possible okay let's turn this thing around actually you know what let's we're going to go around the other way Gonna try and stay level in this turn this time. I see my buddy over there. I'm going to get him to engage armored targets. Engage. So let's get him to hit the air defense. Got lots of beeps. Lots of beeps. I know that's brilliant commentary right there. Lots of beeps. And there's my computer about to overheat. One moment. One. And let's try and get another off. Two and break. Nice thing about the Mavericks versus the Vickers anti tank missiles is these are fire and forget. Granted, I find the targeting system for these things is a bit of a pain. It's all over the place, even when you have it stabilized or locked. And those should hit any moment now. Now I think that's three out of our six Mavericks gone right there. Really hope my wingman doesn't get shot down right away. And impact one and two. Now, where's my wingman? I'm not sure. Well, let's turn around and do another pass. I think now I've taken out three of the tanks on the left. Now we're going to shift our focus to the ones on the right. And He's hit. Where is he exactly? I see a a a fire. But I don't think he's smoking. Oh, I see him down there. Oh, he doesn't look too damaged. I'm gonna get him to regroup. Uh. 
which one is it? I'll just go formation. Our other bank of mavericks. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be looking on the right end of that town now. Yes, beep, 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 beep. Okay, we're a bit too far out for it to lock on, I guess. So we'll get in a little bit closer. Loving out at 7,500 feet. I'm gonna see if I could get at least two tanks done on this pass. And a rifle, one away. Two. And we'll get the last one on the last pass because I'm not sure which one is I fired at. Don't want to fire two at the same target. Now there's also, I believe, three IFVs down there. And I'm sure there's some AAA down there somewhere as well. Now the offensive should be beginning in 10 minutes. So we should have enough time to complete getting rest rid of those tanks, the rest of those tanks. I see two targets down on the right. Okay, so this is our last Maverick, I think. Still got some bombs and, of course, that Gatling gun. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to do one of these IFVs because I'm not sure where that third tank went. Yeah, that's all our Mavericks going. still up? He is. Um, gauge. No target. thing I want to make sure is that there's no incoming aircraft. So I can take a quick look around. Don't see anything yet. Oh, I see that last tank now. Okay, let's go in with some of our bombs now. We we'll leave. This is our large. I think this is a mark. Mark 80, 84 or something. 
I'm going to do this in CCIP mode or in CCIP or CCRP? CCIP. And I'm going to go for that bunching of IFVs. Actually, no, let's go for where that. Although, I just remember there's that Strela that's down there as well. But we've got flares. Okay, so I'm aiming for that bunker right there. Release and let's throw out some flares. Ooh, that looked like a decent hit. But unfortunately not decent enough. So one of my first actual proper missions in the a10 may still require some getting used to. doing single bomb releases right now. Go in for another attack run. I think I'll try and hit the same target. I'm hoping that Strela that was shooting at that F-15 earlier is now out of missiles because for these attack runs that thing could be kind of dangerous. I'm going to go for the group BMPs on this one, or IFVs, whatever kind of infantry fighting vehicle they are. I believe I see them. And I'm going to drop a couple. Ooh, that's... At least I haven't lost any wings. Rats. On fire. Don't think so. No, I'm not. But I do believe my engines are out. Oh, that's some air bursting ammunition. I just saw our tanks that are moving in. I'm going to try and... I'm hoping I might be able to restart an engine. But I'm not holding my breath. Probably I should have attempted restarting the one that isn't smoking. Oh, we're going to have to head back to base to... get some more ammo as it is, so... That is what we're going to do. And then we'll head back out and deal with the rest. It's not going to be ideal landing on grass, but I don't see any roads and any kind of hard maneuver at this kind of speed is only going to make me lose speed faster. Altitude, altitude. Really? I didn't know. 
Okay. Gonna deploy my flaps down at the last second. Get a little extra lift right at, as we're about to touch down. And flare. Okay, we are down. Okay, so I'm going to get this group of armor and we're going to set it up going along the east side. Doing a echelon. I think that should be the right way. Actually, no, we want it to be this way. Yeah, we have some anti tank missiles coming in from that one remaining ATGM platform. Actually, first I'm going to take this tank. Okay. Bearing this way so I can take out these anti missile platforms. One of which I see right there. Okay, that one was just taken out. Anything else? Don't think so. that I can see. That's our artillery hitting that position. That thing looks that looks like uh, it's been taken out, but let's just shoot at it for the hell of it. Alright, so as far as I can tell, our attempt to take that town has been a success. See a lot of smoke in the town, but not very much of it on the outside. Other than that lav that I got blown up in. So I'm going to head in that direction, and we'll do one or two flybys just to see if we can see anything in the town. Then we'll move on to the next objective. Okay, so I see a group of our armor moving up to the east of the town, but it seems like they're coming under fire from where I'm not entirely sure. Must be from RPGs inside the town. So I'm going to see if I can spot any of those RPGs and hopefully we can put some guns on them. So let's get our cannon ready. Get our ground mode. Cannon. And see whether or not we can see any of them. I assume there must be some infantry hanging around that smoke inside the, the town, because I think they'd have some... Okay, one of those armored units on the east just got taken out. So you really need to spot any of that infantry in the town. Or I think to do that, we're going to have to get at a lower altitude. Also have to watch out for that SA-8. Um, don't want to get in a launch zone of that. So there's probably some infantry hanging around where that outpost is. I'm going to fly over, see if I can see anything off of my right. I'm hoping all the AA guns are out. Just remember that Strela. It's probably out of missiles at this point, though. Okay, I'm going to do a guns pass on around that outpost, because there might still be some infantry in that area firing RPGs at my units. Oh, wait a minute. I see infantry. Right there. Oh. 
Altitude, altitude. Must have gotten some decent hits on them. Yeah, there must still be some infantry around that outpost as well. I'm going to do a pass on the outpost, and then we'll do another pass on that infantry I saw inside the town. Don't think there's been any launches from that SA-8 site. All right, looks like they're primarily firing in, at that group. It's that. I thought that might have been an SAA launch. Well, just in case, we're going to attack the... Pretty sure. I have no idea, but I think that might have been a SAM launch. Don't see any missiles, though. All right, let's do a strafing run with the town again. Okay. Oh, I see some infantry. Altitude. Just realized why I wasn't recording when I said all that. Okay, so this is our second objective, this town right here. There's three groups of armor. One on the left, one on the right, and then one in the middle. I'm going to work on the armor to the right first. And I think the group in the middle, there's a third one behind the two in the front. I think that's another radar-assisted anti-air gun. So I think I may work, I think I may take that one out first because I do have enough Mavericks to cover everything there. That's a, a significant threat. So we'll do the anti-air gun first, then we'll move on to the tanks. Okay, let's get ourselves turned around and get on target. Okay, right about there. Sure, I think it's that one. Let's do one more before we turn around. These things usually hit, so we'll probably be fine. I hope that one hits the anti-air gun. I'm not sure it not didn't. It locked onto one of the IFVs. The thing I don't like about this, the Mavericks on the A-10A is they're difficult. If you have a group of targets together, it's difficult to get it to lock onto the one you want. Because it just sort of locks on randomly, and the movement or the slewing isn't very precise. Yes, beep, beep, beep. I got gotcha. you. I'm really looking forward to learning the vegan 
been wanting to fly that thing for a while now. Still need to finish with the MiG-21, though. I made a few missions for the MiG-21, but wanted to take a, an afternoon to learn the A-10A first. Which me, one of the simplified ones, wasn't very hard to do. Okay. Let's go for that one. Okay, this one I'm going to go for one of the tanks on the right before I work on the ones on the left. So I'll go by the furthest right smoke. No, 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 no. Yes, I think. No, I think that's one of the anti-air guns. Oh, well. Nope, pretty sure that was a tank. Should have just got two shots off on that run. I think we've got two more Mavericks left, yes. So yeah, the A-10A, I, I don't know, I'm having fun in it, but I do, I, I, I prefer the SC-25T, I think it's, a, one, it's a lot faster, so it's easier to get yourself out of sticky situations and avoid anti-air guns. Um, the targeting system seems better. Although the the SC twenty five doesn't have that sweet gun on it, so I will concede that to the A ten. It's got a sweet gun, but overall, I think I prefer the SC twenty five. However, that's this is the A ten A, not the A ten C. A ten C is. Probably a lot better than the A-10A in many of the regards that I just mentioned. Okay, so we got... Oh no, we got... Okay, we have two left. Gonna try and take out the last tank on the right, and then we'll try and take out the one on the left. Still away. And yes. Okay, there's our Mavericks gone. Now, with those tanks eliminated, our ground forces should begin moving in. All right, with our mission being a success and our forces moving in, time to go home for a nice landing. Now, I haven't actually landed this thing before, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. How hard could it be? I think we're good. 150 knots. Setting at one meter a second, or I don't know, maybe it's feet per second in this. Descending at one altitude, something altitude. a second. 
Yes, I am at low altitude. That's generally what you do when you land. This will be good. We're good. And flare throttle back. Perfect. Well, that wasn't so hard. Although I do need to decrease the sensitivity of the yaw on this thing. Whoa, no, no, no. Go right. Jeez. Finicky thing, aren't we? All right, well, that was a, uh, well, that was really the greatest mission of the A-10 I've ever seen in my life, but it was fun. So until next time, have a good one.